Hi, my name is Yunus Zaydan. I would like to welcome you to the course of Python programming language. And I would like also to welcome you to Edupedia World. Python is becoming more popular and more and more people are interested in learning Python. And if you landed in my video, you must be one of these people. So again, welcome. I would like to let you know that no programming experience is required to succeed in this course. Even if this is your first programming experience, you'll be able to complete the course successfully if you, if, if you practice. Python is a language that's relatively easy to learn, and it's becoming desired in various applications such as data science and machine learning, just to name a few. In this course, we will learn uh, various topics. We will deal with uh, data types, uh, integer, floats, strings, booleans, etc. Uh, we'll talk about if statements, loops, list comprehension, functions, modules and packages, file input output, and many more topics. As we cover each one of these items, we will be adding a lot of the operations related to each one of these items. What kind of methods can be used with these uh, types of, of, of data types um, to many other applications. Before we go into coding and, and syntax and all the related stuff, I would want us first to go over the installation process, uh, what software needs to be downloaded and all this. For the purpose of this course, we will be downloading Anaconda. If you are comfortable with any other software, feel free to go with that. You don't have to download Anaconda and you can pick your, your favorite. There are many, many other software out there on the web and you can download your favorite one. Uh, but again, in this course, I will be using Anaconda and we will be using the IPython notebook. Uh, if this sounds too many words for you, don't worry about it. We'll go over this in details in a few minutes. Now you may want to turn to your um, internet browser and enter to the website www.continuum.io. This is the Anaconda website powered by Continuum Analytics. You want to click on download Anaconda. You want to sc scroll down to get to the download options. So obviously first pick your platform, Windows, Mac or Linux. We will be downloading the Python 2.7 version. Now click on the option that fits your device, whether the 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm going to click 64-bit in my case. It will start downloading and will ask you for an email. You don't have to put your email if you choose so. Otherwise, you can hit thanks and go ahead with the with the installation process. Uh, the installation progress, if you use Windows, it's most likely in the left corner of your screen. Uh, wait until it's done. Click on that and install the program. Uh, it will take uh, some time, so what I would like to suggest now, pause this video, complete the installation process, and then come back for some more details. Now that you have installed Anaconda, we can go ahead and uh, double-click Anaconda Navigator. I, I created a desktop shortcut for ease of access. You may or may not have created one, so go to your the location where the program was installed and start Anaconda Navigator. It might take a minute, but the, after the whip, uh, the, the program opens, you'll see some options here. This is the Anaconda Navigator. It will have included some of the packages uh, with the program, which you would have chosen when you install the program. I would recommend installing all of the options if memory space is not an issue. Uh, for the purpose of the course, we'll be using Spider as a programming environment, as well as the Jupiter, uh, Jupyter Notebook. I will say a few words about each one of these in, uh, in the next few minutes. So, so this is the program as it opens. I'm going to start with Spider. So launch. It's going to take uh, a bit to launch. Here it is, Spider 2.7. Uh, yours might look a little bit different than mine based on what panes are being displayed. I will go over this in a minute here and under view. And you will be able to select which panes you want uh, to display. So this is the editor, this area where you know the lines of code will go, usually containing many lines of code. Uh, this is here is the value. It shows the variables that have been defined, their type and their value. We'll look at this in a minute. And here's the IPython console, which allows you to enter the code line by line, kind of test your code, or if you want to try one line of command, you can do it pretty quick here and get the output right away. Uh, you don't have to stick to th these three panes. If you wish the entire space to be for the editor, you can do that. If you want to close or open other panes, you can do that. Again, you go to v View, Panes. Here are the ones that are checked in my case, Editor, the, the IPython, and the Variable Explorer. And that's his value on top of it. 
so I could say uncheck this one here and it would only have two panes just the uh, again where the code goes and here where the output should the output will be displayed here we'll, we'll, we'll look at this in a second um, again I can go back and uh, select uh, the variable again and uh, and deselect the console the, the IPython console I normally keep uh, these three open or at least I would um, uh, keep uh, two of them open like that and you can adjust the size of the screen I will not go over every option in this uh, display I'll just go over the main things and I'll let you explore on your own and as we go in the course we will learn more and more about these options but for now again these are the two essential environments where again the coding goes here the output of the of your code goes here and again you have the option to uh, enter one line by line commands uh, and hi enter you get the output right away and here where your uh, lines of code will go let's start with a really simple code two lines you define your variable x equals 5 and then let's say you wanna print x simple as that uh, here's the run command and you can see the output of your code comes up here so this is the output um, this is the run command of course again I let you explore this more here there's uh, you can run the entire uh, editor whatever lines of code you have here you can run a cell I'll explain what that means uh, later on you can run line by line and so forth you can run selection only run selection or current line and there are shortcuts for doing that as well and here from the buttons you can uh, just hover your mouse on it and it will say run current cell or uh, run the entire code, run file, etc. Uh, so you can uh, explore these. Now I would like to turn to the navigator, the Anaconda, Anaconda navigator, the one we started with. I'd like to go to the Jupyter, the notebook, and click launch. Again, it's going to take a little while and install the pro, uh, load the program. Here it is, uh, Jupyter Notebook. Uh, the nice thing it will think is that it's going to open in a, a web browser. Uh, it's your, actually your default web browser, whichever it is, Chrome or Explorer. So it's going to open in there. It will show the documents of your device here. And you can click New if you want to open a new folder, or you can browse uh, in your folder. Uh, we're going to click on Python 2 to open a new browser or a new uh, notebook. Is one cell open right here? It says input blank is going to be numbered as we run more and more cells. The nice thing that you can run them one cell at a time. Um, it has a lot of advantages actually. People in data science usually use use Python notebooks where uh, notebooks where it allows you to share your uh, code as well as the output as an HTML file, which is pretty neat. You can send it to anyone. Does not need Python or anything. It shows the code and the output and you can share the notebook itself obviously and they can uh, if they have python and they have jupyter they can they can also access it they can rerun the code and all this it has a lot of other features that we're going to cover some of these right now and more as we go in the course so let's let me start with a really simple uh, line here uh, print hi and here's the run command um, you can run the cell it shows the output and opens a new cell. You can see the numbering here. Uh, let's say run another command here. Let's say x equal 3. No output there. It numbers as this. This is 2. As you go back here and say rerun this one, you can see the numbering is, is continuing here. So just to let you know. Um, there are different options here. I'll let you explore this in your own time so you can add another cell uh, remove a cell so there it is you if you click here to cut the cell um, add a new cell underneath uh, move a cell up or move it down and so on you have multiple options as far as running uh, your code goes run the current cell run and select below run and insert a new cell below run all cells run all the above cells or the below and so forth so you can uh, look at these uh, techniques feel free to play around with all this try the options you know put a really simple line I know we haven't done a lot yet uh, just a simple line a statement like a print statement or, or defining a variable 
we'll go over this in much more details later on that's it for now next time we will cover various types of uh, supported data structures we will define variables we will play with some code until then thank you so much for watching